Okay, okay. We are back with some more Grimes. Uh, we're going back. We're going back. This is 12 years ago, which is crazy. And I don't, I'm not wondering, like, is her sound different 12 years ago compared to the stuff nowadays? Um, the third track off third studio album is named by Pitchfork as the best track of the de- Okay, okay. Fuck Pitchfork. All right. That's cool. Congratulations, Grimes. I like you. But I think we can all agree Pitchfork is dog shit. They rated Ice Spice's album better than like fucking Ultra Violence or some something else. You know, what I mean? like all these other amazing albums. They put Ice Spice's album like a higher ranking, dude. Even Kid Cudi's like Man on the Moon got a lower ranking. It's like Pitchfork does not know a fucking thing about music. So I'm sorry, but fuck Pitchfork. I really hate them. They're dog shit. Um, but I'm sure this track is fire. So we'll just check it out. Produced by Grimes herself. That should be really cool. Ooh. It's an arpeggio. It is. before we get to the chorus this okay off the rip kind of reminds me of bjork a little bit because it's out there and it's definitely in that experimental realm um i do love the arpeggio and the background vocals and stuff the high-pitched voice i'm not too big on the high-pitched voice thing but you know it's cool it's not like bothering me or anything it's just uh it's all right um all right yeah like it's a little bit like bjork in a way background vocals though oh that's trippy the back and forth painting I do like her inflections. <laughs> the drums are gone with that arpeggio still. Oh. Everything's panned. Dude. That's pretty freaking cool. That piano, it's interesting because usually panning is like a, it's an even process of going back and forth or it's just hard pan to one side. But the piano that I'm hearing is like definitely in the left ear 80% of the time and it quickly goes to the right ear and stays to the left. Whoop, whoop. Like it's not, it's interesting because I never really hear that. So that's really cool. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> What's happening? Oh God, that's scary. It's a Vox that's pitched down a lot. The sound selection is very interesting. Honestly, if I'm keeping it real, dude, the sound selection does sound like stock sounds in FL Studio. I don't know what DAW she used to produce the song. 
um but it sounds like some stock sounds in fl studio and that's fine that's fine you can cook up bangers the song crank that by soldier boy was literally stock sounds and that shit was a fucking hit so like it's not like uh you know it's not gonna hold you back but you can definitely tell if you're used to that daw you'll you'll hear the sounds Okay. Does this go on for the rest of the song? Hold on, we'll read that. The one sound is really cool though. I really like the vox at the bottom that I pointed out earlier. The oh, like I said, it's like really pitched down because you can hear it slide up a little bit and slide back down. So I think she did like a slide on the notes for that vox. That's cool. You can hear the Vox way better here. You see the Vox? It's so cool. I like that Vox a lot. Kind of like a Bowser's Castle Mario type shit. With that hit. That was actually pretty fucking cool. I think that was pretty fucking sick. The the experimental side of it is so cool. Um, <clears throat> Uche explained the song's true meaning. What's what's her real name? Her real name's not Grimes, is it? I don't know. That's a stage name. It has to be. Um, the song is about being violently assaulted, and it made me crazy for a few years. Oh God. Got really paranoid walking around at night and I started feeling really unsafe. The song is more about empowering myself physically amongst a masculine power and the hate of feeling powerless, making light of masculine physical power, making it jovial. Oh, I've heard that word before. And non-threatening. Uh, I took a typical violent cultural situation, made it pop and happy. Interesting. So that's why it sounds so dark then. Ah, because up here she was talking about that where it's like she feels like, you know, scared and unsafe when she's walking at night. But for the rest of the song, I didn't really pick up on the rest of it. Only in the first verse, I really got it. But then even here, I guess, running by yourself, it's hard to find someone to hold your hand. But I also feel like the bridge and the chorus were like a big part of the song. And see you on a dark night. I was like, I don't know. I just didn't translate as well as it did in the verses. But very interesting. What is she smoking? Is that a cig? Depicting a dark night evokes both the actual event of the assault and her process of coping with the trauma. Ah, I see what she did there. Very interesting. Repetitions of specific lines and words such as see you on a dark night are prominent throughout as it is representing the recollection of events in the mind surrounding walk. Oh, that's an interesting perspective. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but that's a really good perspective. Um... The nature of the repetition is infiltrating and two represents how inescapable the mental toll of trauma is. The hints that th this hints at the lyrics as a whole mirroring the thought process of Grimes in relation to vulnerable situations. That's a good perspective. Wow. Who have done this to her made her go through hell. I wish you to choke. It's such an amazing song, but the fact of what she had witnessed to get there is worrying and sad. Yes. Wait, did she witness something or did something happen to her? That made her go through hell. I don't know. Musically, I feel like Grimes might have taken inspiration from the residence. Hey, good looking. Uh, come. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Um, <clears throat> a cover of Hank Williams' tune turned upside down. So it sounds creepy and stalkerish. Which would fit perfectly with Grimes' idea behind her song. Ah. Is that what happened? Is this a sample of that song flipped or some shit? The main rhythm in the first half of Oblivion sounds straight out of that resonance track, which also features a distinctive synthesized orchestral strike. Grimes then employs prominently in the song's second half. Interesting, let's play it. Is it the same song I'm thinking of? This is a completely different song. But I, I, I do hear the...
That's so loud. What the fuck is this? I was thinking of the country song. This is a cover of the country. Okay, so... I see. Yeah, it says a cover. I didn't realize that. Interesting. I do hear the similarities, but I don't think it's sampled. Unless it's sampled and then turned into an arpeggio. Because I don't hear the arpeggio at all there. Um, but there are similarities. Great taste. I think the title may also be a reference to Fiona Apple's Sullen Girl. Oblivion? Baseline without mistakes. What is this? Is this an article? What is this? Remove translations from Q&A there in metadata. This reminds me of something. Find Grimes very subpar, but this definitely struck gold. Damn, get downvoted. Minus 40 downvotes. <laughs> Alright. Dude, I like the track. I do like the track. There's a hypnotizing effect to it as well. And I really do like the sound selection. The sound selection, like I said, they do sound like stock sounds in FL Studio. But the way she utilized them with all the features and the effects and the panning and all that stuff made it very trippy. And I think that's really cool. Um, I'm just reading this again. The Pitchfork best track of the decade. 10 years. 10 years. I like the track a good amount. Quite a bit. But I don't think this is the best track in the past 10 years when this came out. 2012? Since 2002 to 2012? I don't know about that, but uh, Pitchfork is just delusional anyways. Anything Pitchfork says, dude, I'm going to start ranting again. Never mind, but um, I do like the song a good, strong amount. Keep it elite, man. I will keep. What will I rate this track? I think, oh, well, when I think about it in the perspective of that one guy said in the comments about like the repetition and stuff, because I was like, the meaning of the song didn't really come through for me other than the verses. But after learning that information about the repetition lines and stuff, seeing that in the bridge and chorus, then it makes so much more sense. Keep really, man, I'll keep. I'll rate this. I'm going to go... I'll go like an 8-7. I'll go like an 8-7. It gets extra points for the artistic value of it and the way they executed the concept. I don't know if Grimes intentionally did that repetition thing, but either way, I think that's how it's meant to be looked at in a real like perspective. Um, so 8-7 for me, man. Very, very cool. Very cool.